Hello, we are inviting you to come celebrate with us to the Let It Glow Gala. That's right, on December the 20th. special guest showed up our Lord showed up in the room Gala belonged to him I'm so happy <laughs>
one gentleman said to me, I took up your book, I was going on a flight and I couldn't put it back down. It was like a novel. But this is not a novel book. This is just what God put in me. And it became my gift to the world. It's on Amazon. This book right here would go on to put a little bit of money in my bank account every month. Right. Your gift is waiting to give you a new income and new money. My adversities led me to thoughts. I remember one day I was so destitute, I had to leave a job because of an immigration situation. The lady said, I, couldn't, I can't wait for you any longer to produce the document. I said, okay ma'am, just give me two more weeks. And I can't forget the night they just put me to be trained with some of the best of the best. Because they're like, your interview was so impressive and you're doing great. And then guess what guys, HR walked me out one night, couldn't wait any longer. I said, God, why would you let this happen to me? That night I went home and I started to pray. I said, but there was a race going on with you saying more. I said, but he only used his feet. <laughs> he didn't even have to study for that. He don't have to go through what I'm going through. He just trained. And I heard Maz Monroe said something, that a successful person is a person who refines their gift and turn it into value that everyone want to pay you for it. You'll never be broke another day in your life. Do you have a gift tonight? I said, wait a minute. I said, Hans, what can you do to make me survive? It's never been the jobs or the income or the money. I'm tired of crying on the jobs. I'm tired of being anxious and worrying about what's going to happen to feed my kids. I'm a child of God. I prayed. I said, God, give me creativity. 